Hello again everybody, it's me, the Holy Lemon, back with the new Spectre car that's just been released. I think it's gorgeous, I love Aston Martins, I hope they keep coming, I don't know what they're planning to do next, but I think this one's absolutely stunning. There's a load of different liveries and loads of customization for it, as you can see. We're going to give it a test, we're going to throw it around uh, a track, I've chosen H2O. Uh, H2O, whatever you want to call it, because I put a video up the other day with the 770, so you should have a reasonable comparison. Now, I should say this is my first time racing it, so whatever time I get, I expect you could probably trim a couple of seconds off of it. Uh, it's just a normal race with a couple of friends who, who invited me after they bought the Spectre, or one of them did anyway. Um, so I'll show you the, the start, see how it goes. I think it's pretty quick, um, certainly not slow. As you can see, it kind of keeps pace with the Retro Custom, LG Retro Custom. Um, I intentionally hung back a bit there because uh, one of these two gentlemen has a habit of uh, laughing while he knocks you into the sea. So, yeah, we'll uh, cut now to the beginning or just before the start of what I consider the best lap of the four. Um, two important corners. It seems to be a lot more planted than the 770 does. So you can afford to be a bit faster into the corners and corner at a bit of a higher speed and put the power on a bit earlier uh, and not go sliding everywhere. So starting off the lap, um, I think going about the same kind of speed as normal. Cutting in, you can afford to cut in a bit earlier. I'm still getting used to the bite point for the grip. Jump over, nice and straight. Same thing, off the power, power back on and round. Back wanted to slide out but didn't really. Nice and straight over the jump. Around this corner, power off about a quarter of the way, and then halfway around, power back on. It feels like this car is much more efficient in the corners, so I think you've actually got a bit more leeway there. But straight over this jump, nice and tight on the apex here. Ran wide a bit there. Straight through these tubes, pretty much the same as the 770 here. Um, come up nice and high to get some more speed. Come back down and let the car steer out here. Now it seems to carry a lot of speed through here. Very nearly make the blue section, but dab on the brakes again, nice and tight, run it over, tight on this corner, can afford to go a bit faster around here because it's got much more grip, so it enables you to do that whole section much quicker. Straight again here, all the way along, right hand ramp, cut in about halfway up, and come back down, could have probably turned in a bit earlier there, gained a bit more speed, jump the curb once or twice over the ramp, as you can see, probably could have done with a bit more speed there. Come through here, nice and smooth all the way. Brakes on. Braking's not as good as the 770, so probably brake a tiny bit earlier. But uh, jump the curb here to get a bit more speed and cut the corner again here. Again, that was a bit wide, so probably could have cut in a bit earlier. And that got me a 140. So I think that was pretty reasonable overall. I love the car, I'm, I'm going to be racing with it because I just think it looks looks nice. Probably change the paint job up a few times though. If you've got any ideas for what looks nice, please do leave a comment and let me know. But um, I hope you found that good. If you like it, I can do some more uh, of the new cars, some other race, some other cars in, in a variety of races. But like I say, let me know in the comments. I hope you found that useful. I've been the Holy Lemon. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. See you soon. Ta-da.